What's going on everybody, I'm the Entertainer, so welcome back to my Christmas countdown. You know what it is, new week, new theme, we have done Christmas characters, we've done Jim Carrey holiday movies, and now we are on to Home Alone. So excited to talk about these movies. Uh, Home Alone, as probably most of us did, we grew up on this movie. It is amazing. Christmas classic, I mean, everyone, even if you've never seen it, you definitely know what it is by name and what it's about. I mean, who doesn't? You gotta live under a rock to never hear of Home Alone. Home Alone is directed by Chris Columbus. Uh, if you're one of the people who've never heard this movie and live under a rock, I'll tell you what it's about a little bit. It's about Kevin McAllister. He's this little kid, doesn't get along with his family too much, and he's left home alone on the week of Christmas while his parents go out to Paris and his entire family, they go out to Paris for vacation during Christmas time and they accidentally leave him while there are these two burglars trying to break into his house on Christmas Eve. This movie is written by John Hughes. John Hughes has uh, never failed in my eyes. He has done classic 80s movies such as The Breakfast Club, Sixteen Candles, Pretty in Pink, and he has wrote this movie. He did not direct it, but Christopher Columbus, or Chris Columbus, did a great job directing this movie. I mean, what I love about this movie is how unique it is. There isn't another family movie of this concept. There have been, there's probably movies that are similar that came out after this movie, but Home Alone it set the foundation for those kind of movies. To where it's, uh, you know, it's family fun, but you know adults can enjoy it too, and even like teenagers and young adults such as myself, and you know, it came out in the perfect time. This is the perfect 90s movie. I mean, I think it was a little ahead of its time, but not too much. I mean, if this came out like in the 2010s, where there was no other movie like it before, I don't know if it could have worked as well. I just think it came out at the perfect time. It's just such a unique concept. Like, all right, let's uh, let's make this kid who's honestly not that likable. Kevin's kind of a brat, but you know, you can't blame him because all of his family kind of, you know, pick on him. No one really sides with him. Everyone's kind of mean to him, especially his older brother, Buzz. I think the movie has a really nice lesson to it. You know, appreciate your loved ones, appreciate your family. And that's what the lesson of the movie is. And I think it's really nice, especially around the holiday time, because, you know, Christmas time is about spending time with your family and friends and loving one another. And I think this movie does a great job uh, keeping the beats up with the message you're trying to deliver. This movie's so quotable. I mean, how's it not? Keep the change, you filthy animal. That's another great thing about this movie. A little small thing I want to mention. The angels are... Oh, well, I forgot the name of the movie within the movie. The movie that Kevin watches where the guy's like, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, snakes. I'm going to give you to the count of ten to get your lion, yellow, no good keystro off my property. That. I think it's perfect that they made that little scene for this movie and it's such an iconic moment. I remember like I've talked about people and they're like, oh I wonder who that movie is. I'm like, they made it for Home Alone. I think it's perfect. Another great thing is that they made it for Christmas. They didn't have to. It is kind of like, let's just pull the Christmas card, we'll make it a Christmas movie. If it wasn't made around Christmas time, I don't think the movie would have blown up the way it did. But because it's set around Christmas and it does a really good job Keeping up with the Christmas feel. You guys know how I feel about that. It's very important to keep that ground on. Make me feel like that this is Christmas time and that this is something I want to watch every December. And that is exactly what Home Alone does for me. Macaulay Culkin, the best child actor I've ever seen. I, I mean, he is great as Kevin McAllister. How, like, he he's kind of a brat at first, but then you start siding with him and understanding where he's coming from and just seeing how he's trying to take care of himself and then how he fights the burglars off at the end. I mean, he, he's just hilarious. We have the classic aftershave part, uh, the part when he goes to buy a toothbrush and then the, uh, the guy who's like known as like the mysterious killer around the neighborhood turns out to be a good guy. Yeah, I spoiled it for you. Yeah, I, I'm not sorry. I'm going to spoil Home Alone for you because how have you not seen it? Yeah, there's a guy that they make out to be scary. Turns out he's a good guy. Another lesson they try to make in the movie. Do not judge a book by its cover. They do a good job with that. Of course, I have to talk about the wet bandage. Joe Pesci and Daniel Stern, like the dynamic duo. They are the perfect actors for this movie, for those roles. Uh, I mean, you got the one guy, like Joe Pesci's just perfect as the guy who's 
very hot tempered and just gets mad very easily. And I love that Joe Pesci, and if you see my Goodfellas review, you know where I'm going with this. How he wants to curse. We've seen Joe Pesci in other movies. He blurs out fucking shit like every other word in a sentence. And he can't do that in this movie because it's PG. So he's just like, burr, burr, shmina, burr, burr. and then Daniel Stern's just a goofball idiot. And he's so good at it. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. Um, and then all the traps they go through and how they react to it is perfect. They could not have executed this movie any better. John Williams music score in it for the Home Alone theme song. I mean, what has John Williams ever failed to be honest? And this movie is a 65% on Rotten Tomatoes for the critic score. I mean, you know, I review movies, yes, but I'm not here to completely criticize and, and find things. No, if I love a movie, even if I know it's, sure, it's not the most perfect written screenplay, I'm gonna let it slide because it's fucking Home Alone. Yeah, sure, you can dig into the plot holes like, well, they would have noticed him when they were at the airport, or... Uh, you know, how could, how can you time this right with, the, and you know what, shut the hell up. It's a great Christmas movie. Home Alone does everything perfect. It came out at the perfect time, the directing is on point, Macaulay Culkin is the best child actor that they could have picked, and it's just the best child actor I've ever seen in a role. Joe Pesci and Daniel Stern are perfect as the villains of the movie. They are hilarious. I, I enjoy it every time they're on screen. They work, their chemistry is very well. John Hurd and Catherine O'Hara are perfect as the parents. They're funny too. And it makes me want to watch it every December. It's a great Christmas feel. And that is why I'm giving Home Alone a 5 out of 5 stars. Guys, thank you so much for watching. So since this is the Home Alone theme week, obviously, the next review will be Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Can't wait to talk about that too. Having a blast with this Christmas countdown. We are in the second to last week. I mean, God, December always flies by. So, yeah, I mean, we're almost done here. And then uh, we'll be on to the next year. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.